How we make others feel. It is a typical day at school. Susie has just arrived at school. Susie is about to enter her class. When I came to class and everyone didn't cry, I felt like they were talking about me. And when and I felt the same way when I saw Ben look over at me and and he um, he whispered in Jen's ear. I wasn't talking about you, Susie. That may be true, but the way you behaved made Susie feel uncomfortable. Hi everyone. Today we had the awesome opportunity of watching the Great Sixes conduct a skit all about bullying. We could learn from the skit that bullying is not just verbal or physical, it can also be emotional. And as we see, Ben and his friends treated Susie in a way that hurt her. She became self-conscious. She looked at herself and she lost confidence. She couldn't understand why she was feeling the way she was feeling. Every time they giggled, every time they, they chatted and she heard her name, every time they went quiet, when she walked in. All those things can make people feel uncomfortable and hurt at the same time. We can learn a lot from this situation. The Bible tells us that we should do unto others how we want others to do unto us. We should treat other people the way we want to be treated. We all can play a big part in putting a stop to bullying. And the only way we can take a step forward in starting this change is if we think before we speak. Think before we speak. And here's how you do it. Think 